In this, we'll understand about the concept of learning curve. It is a graphical representation that shows how a person's proficiency at a task improves over time with practice. It illustrates the relationship between the time or effort. It can be even cost invested in learning and the resulting level of skill or knowledge. So this will be the graph. You may notice that uh, when the quantity produced is less, it takes more time. And when it gets doubled, it drastically reduces. So every time when it is doubling, the learning becomes much more efficient and the time becomes faster. The idea behind this is that any employee, regardless of position, takes time to learn how to carry out a specific task or duty. The amount of time needed to produce the associated output is high initially. Then, as the task is repeated, the employee learns how to complete it quickly, and that reduces the amount of time needed for a unit of output. So that is why learning curve is downward sloping. We are seeing here downward sloping. In the beginning, with a flat slope towards the end. For example, this particular thing further, if you carry on, it may become uh, constant, means it will become flatter, depicted on the y-axis and the total output or cumulative output on the x-axis. As the learning increases, it decreases the cost per unit, that is time per unit of output initially, before flattening out, as it becomes harder to increase the efficiencies gained through learning. Learning curves are often associated with the percentages that identify the rate of improvement. For example, a 90% learning curve means that for every time the cumulative quantity is doubled, there is a 10% efficiency gained in the cumulative average production time per unit. Means that much of time is getting saved. The percentage states the percentage of time that will carry over to future iterations of the task when production is doubled. The usual learning curve model is Wright's model, which is defined by the function y equal to a x to the power of m where y is cumulative average time or the cumulative labor cost per unit or per batch. A is the time for the first unit or labor cost for the first unit. X is the cumulative volume of production or the cumulative number of batches. P is the learning curve index or also called a slope, which is calculated as logarithm of learning percentage to the base 10 divided by logarithm of 2 to the base 10. In subsequent videos, we will see some problems related to learning curves, numerical problems related to learning curves.